team. It's your boy, JT the Izzo. And your girl, T. Diddy. We are JT. Dream team. And we are back, y'all. With another video, you guys. And we are um, taking a look at singer, actor Tyree. And he is going through some custody issues. Yes, he is. With the mother of his child. And um, he's been going through it. He's been to the hospital for what? Uh, Anxiety. Anxiety, dehydration, I'm not sure what it is, but um, we're going to show you a few clips of what's going on with him. He's been on social media crying about his daughter and people saying that he's having breakdowns and meltdowns and who wouldn't break down if their child was being taken, exactly. taken from them if exactly. they were an active parent. Right. How would you feel if I took Micah away from you and... I would lose it. That he's all you know, you know, exactly. every day, day in, day out, you see your child, you take care of your child. Absolutely, he has to be a good father. He has to be. Has to be. You know, it's really sad to me that when a mother of the child, you know, uses that that child as a pawn, you know, to get whatever they want, or you know, they know that 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 father loves their child, and they they pretty much do terrible things to the father, you know, with that child, and it's just terrible. If uh, it's it's very few fathers in their children's lives. So to those that are in their child's life, let them be active in their child's life. Let them grow up with their father's love. I grew up without a dad and it broke my heart, broke my sister's heart. And I know what it's like to not have a dad. So for that dad that wants to be involved and nothing is more important than their child, let them be that father to that child. And I feel strongly about that. But let's watch this video. Um, of Tyrese coming from the hospital uh, and being treated or whatever, and hear what he has to say. Start here. Tyrese, man, how are you feeling? What did the doctor say, bro? That's a lot of questions. Bro. I'm sorry, man. I mean, we heard you were dehydrated. Are you all right? Did you get a clean bill of health? All right, bro. Anxiety. Just a quick little anxiety. Guys, please don't make this about me. This is about my daughter. Like, this, this, this could compromise my case. Thank you, man. I've been in court all day. I just hope everything is good, man. I just didn't want an IV bag, and I'm okay. Don't worry, man. I'll pay for her, man. Did you get a clean bill of health, Tyrese? I'm on my way home, baby. Did, uh, did you get a clean bill of health from the doctor, Tyrese? Got her right there. You need that to relax, though. The doctors say the cigars are all right, bro. Just feel a little compromised today. You know, hospitals are supposed to keep everything confidential. I normally stay under an alias. They told me that somebody knows my alias, so I changed it. Hey man, um, why were you dehydrated? Have you been taking care of yourself? I've never been through a trial in my life, even though I'm from Watts, South Central. Never been through a trial, so I didn't. It's up since 4 a.m. I didn't know that I would be in there from 4 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Didn't come with water, food. I just didn't know, so, you know, I, I just, a little anxiety kicked in, naturally so. God has got it, man. Well, you know, we're praying for you, and, and just take it easy, man. I know it's hard. I just I need, I just need everybody out there to know that this is, this is for Shayla. Every, every black father out there has public defenders, or even if you have someone you can afford, things some way, somehow, just don't work out. Just use my pain and almost 10 years of what I've been dealing with and just stay the course because it's only the angels that suffer in the end. We may look like the monster. Most people will believe what's being said, but 
about the goodness of God and always knows the truth. Are you going to win this case? I don't want to win. I just want to do what I need to do for my daughter, Shayla. Take a look at this video. He was uh, breaking down on Instagram, crying so bad because he misses his daughter. And let's hear what he has to say. <laughs> this is all I got. <laughs> This is all I got. Don't take my baby, okay? <laughs> I've been I've been away from my baby for two months. <laughs> I just want <laughs> I just want my baby. And no one's listening because no one's in the courtroom. I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm not doing anything illegal, but I don't want nobody. Oh my God, am I doing something illegal by doing this video or is this, am I protected by the, the, the first right amendment or the amendment? Don't take my baby. I'm at $13,000 a month. What more do you want from me? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Um, supposedly Kevin Hart, 50 Cent, and a few other celebrities were kind of making fun of Tyrese in his crying video. So he put a video out to respond to everyone, and here it is. Contrary to what some of y'all may believe, I'm actually okay. And I'm not putting this up to calm people down. If people are having conversations about what's going on in my personal life, my private life has always been private. Do your research. Anybody who's ever been in my life will tell you, I've never seen them cry that way. I've never seen them have a meltdown. I'm not a singer. I'm not an actor. I'm not a producer. I'm not a writer. I'm not a celebrity. I'm a father. Okay? I'm a father, baby. It's a universal thing. So please, ladies, I love y'all. Our angels wouldn't be here if it wasn't for y'all. We're clear. But this is not about men versus women. This is men versus liars. So this is my silent protest. Because when you're in the hood, you go from chucks, and then when you become successful as a black man, then you start using the real shit, the Kohimas. All right, y'all, I'm on my way to court, and I'm just going to ask for y'all to pray for me and my daughter. Um, for everybody that's been reaching out, I had to change my number because it was just so much toxic, negative energy. When God puts a purpose over your life and he sends you a message, you cannot get caught up in sheep. You cannot get caught up in what everybody's got to say about the choices that you are making to the benefit of your family. And all of the men and my brothers and my family, I, I love you and I appreciate you, but I want you to remember one thing, one simple thing. As you're calling me to tell me to chill out, as you're calling me and calling everybody who knows me, yo, get him, get him off the internet, he's killing himself. Just remember, my nigga, you still got your kids playing in the background. So it's very easy for you to judge somebody when your circumstances ain't mine. 